Alrighty YouTube, today we are going to play some Legacy Death Shadow. Uh, like I said earlier, um, this deck is a donation deck for the Barrero Wrestling. If you'd like to see me play your deck on stream, then just donate to Barrero Wrestling. You can find that in the link below. Um, their Facebook page, a link to donate, or you can donate me the cash and then I can send the money over. If you donate to them and you tweet at me or email me a receipt, then I will play your deck as well. So this is Death Shadow here. Um, kind of uh, similar to what broke out at the Pro Tour 25th anniversary. Um, I don't know much about this deck, so I'm not going to sit and talk about it too, too much. But we're just going to get into it and uh, play some Magic. I played this deck for a little bit right when it came out. And boy, was it busted when it came out. Like, whew. It's just like no one, like Swords to Plowshares just like wasn't in the format. No one knew how to play against it. I think it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not as good as it was, but it was very good. Very, very good as soon as, when the Pro Tour came out. I also have a, so I have a handy dandy cyborg guide to play here. Check out, open with Google Sheets. Cyborg guy helps because like I, I would probably stumble my way through a league here. So I would like to play first. And this hand is great. I'm gonna play the Delver, go get a watery grave. I think we're supposed to get watery grave. I mean willing to bet it's just correct to get watery grave all the time to start. Unless you like, know, unless you know the matchup, like if you know you're playing like a Delver Mirror, I guess, or Burn, maybe you think about it. Shadow is good as it is able to disrupt. Okay, so we're playing against Elves. So, all right, flip to a Force is nice. So let's attack. I'm probably going to Thought Seize, and I might snuff out on this turn too, depending on what I see from my opponent here. Elves, it's your deck there, Tyler. Okay. First Ranger makes mana. Quirion Ranger... Makes mana. How do I choke my opponent here? This one's probably the worst one. I think I just take Quirion Ranger. And then snuff out this Llanowar Elf. And then... Do I just like... Force of Will of Burschler Rangers? Yeah, I'm going to take Quirion Ranger. <clears throat> And then I'm going to snuff out this. Get out of my face. Oh, they hit a land? First Laranger is A-OK. -okay. Symbiote is like the grind card, yes, but Heritage Druid is OK as well. Okay, so I know the three cards, they have three cards in their hand. This isn't an elf. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this go and then I'm just gonna attack with my Delver a bunch of times. Hopefully I draw like a Death Shadow. That's not a bad draw. Okay, so one, two, three. If they hit a land, they can play natural order. And I would like to be able to soft stub that. Turn it off your hand. Untap target creature. Activate this ability only once. I think I've got to play the Delver. What's the clock? It's... Nine, 
So it's it, they're currently at twelve. So it's a four turn. They have four turns, three draw steps. So they draw, go to nine, draw, go to six, draw, go to three. So they have four draw steps. Yeah, they got to play this Delver. And then like the problem is if I play this Delver though, this is tough. I think I'm actually just gonna wait. Cause I'm gonna force and pitch the Delver. Yeah, I'm gonna hide the wasteland in my hand. But the the problem is here is that like this stubborn denial is not really doing it for me at the moment. And if I play Delver, I have to probably force glimpse. And the pro then the natural then, but then the natural order is a problem but like i also give them time to rebuild all right maybe they won't go for it we're in a tough spot here i can also like block if they give me that option some confusing magic here i hate playing against elves Elves is so hard to play against because it's so difficult to tell what matters because they have like these two bombs here, you know, and then, but they also have like, um, they have these two bomb cards, but then they also have this like derpy wirewood symbiote plan. Hopefully, like, the little best draw for us next turn is if our opponent... Alright, my opponent's tweaking out. I'm gonna get some water while my opponent's thinking. Well, yeah, I mean, if they attack, I'm going to I'm gonna take the block and then just reanimate my shadow or reanimate my Delver. Um, I need to make another Google Sheet also so that I can keep track of how much money I need to get Tom and Phil. So new document. So this is from... Gavin Dier, Gavin Dier. I have to go like Twitch name. Oh, I don't want that. I need to go like Twitch name, real name, amount, deck, played, not played is what I got to do. Twitch name, real name, amount, deck. We can do I can just set this spreadsheet up while my opponent's slow as all hell. Yeah, Tim, those guys. Yeah, I mean, like, I usually don't play a lot of magic, play a lot of weird decks when I stream, but I will get like it's gonna have to be pretty heinous for me not to play it when it is. Yeah, I think my opponent disconnected probably. Which is kind of sad. I'm gonna put the deck list up here. We're going to go back just so we have this to look at. And I'm just going to finish my spreadsheet here. Gavin Deere. G-A-V-N-D-E-R-E. Million amount 10. Death Shadow. Yes. Trey. Dean. And Dean, you should send me a deck. I'll play it. I'll play it, dude. Where 
just get all these. I have to get the names in here. Gavin. Because, yeah, all subs and you're not the boss of me. I hope I do. I hope we do the pounding. Three months help. There's the turn one deck. The turn one meme. I have to get rid of some of these decks. Some of these decks are just like, unfortunately, just like not, not good anymore. I hate having too many decks in my thing in here. Like, I just get like super confused. Azorius Stoneblade. Oh, this is the one that I played a while. This, this deck is super outdated. Um, yeah, we'll go like this. We'll just put this deck up here for now. Well, this is so unfortunate. Oh, wow. Tim Schultz. With... With the $15 donation, Tim, send me over a deck list you can play, and then I will set it up. You want me? You gonna you gonna be a you gonna be a real real estate agent, there, Tim? I appreciate your subscription, Tim. It was very or your donation, Tim. It's much appreciated. There we go. We are up to, it appears, thirty-six dollars so far for Tom and Phil. So keep it coming. I really appreciate everybody that's donating. Tom and Phil are great. I have a really funny Tom and Phil story where um, when Tom and Phil were first trying to become Olympic wrestlers, yes. it's Lance time. You're going to make me a real estate agent? We can talk later about the list, but probably stream on Sunday will be when I do that. Because it's my wife's birthday this weekend. So Friday night and Saturday. I might stream it tomorrow. Because I get to sleep in. Because I have a job interview tomorrow. And then I have two job interviews on Friday. So I have, I'm have i going to sleep in because it's Friday morning. Let's see. I got your deck list there. All right, we'll put that in the queue. That's a that is a fun. That, this deck's gonna be fun to play. <laughs> yeah, that deck's that deck's gonna be fun. At least he's gonna we're gonna play for Dean's gonna play an is it Kiki Jiki deck. I'm gonna have to put like in my stupid YouTube video and be like, this is when we get to go again. I'm not nervous because uh, I'm interviewing for some jobs back home in Vermont. I've got two, I'm going up with, I'm going up to see for my wife's sisters uh, getting married next week. So I have two face-to-face -face interviews set up with a company I really like and then a company um, then with GE, who's a prestigious company that, you know, is going to make me, I'm going to work for my money there. Like that's, that's, that's going to be an intense job, but it's a good job, but it'll be intense. Um, then I've got an interview with the state of Vermont on Friday. I have an interview with a manufacturing company on Thursday. And then I have another interview with a, with a consulting company on Friday. Yeah. We're looking to move. We're looking to get home, go back to where the family is set up and get ready to uh, rock and roll. I'm going to wait. Like, I'm going to win this game. You know what I mean? Like, if my opponent just doesn't want to do anything, then... But it doesn't even say they disconnected. I really appreciate... I'm, an, I'm not an engineer. I'm an industrial hygienist. So, occupational health and safety... Um, chemical exposure and workplaces, um, all that kind of good stuff there. So my wife and I are sick of paying rent. We want to buy a house.
there are some times when it's intense. Then there are some times when it's pretty straightforward. Like, my job now is pretty straightforward. Bill needs a fence. That's what we're talking about. You can get a fence, Feeny Boy. Feeny Boy. Fuck off, Dad. I'm sleeping. I just got your email, Tim. If I can set up a, a good way to... Um, a good way to set up a two-person stream, Tim, then we might just give that a whirl. He needs a deck to lay in the sun and soak up all the all the rays like Black Dog does. You mean he's just gonna sit there? Can my college have an industrial hygienist? Yeah, maybe you might need it. I've I've been on some colleges where they have needed it. Yes, both my wife and I were grew up in Vermont. We met when we were in high school. Aww. Wow. You know, we really fought hard for that victory. And we just beat him up. You know, I, I really think that I just truly outplayed my opponent in that match. Like, I, I, like they, they just really didn't have a chance. I'm very sorry, Gavin, Gavinder, that your, um, that your first match had to end like that. You know? I'm... Very sorry about that. But that's, that's just sometimes how she goes. Let me check out this lands list Mr. Schultz sent me. The old real estate agent from Texas himself. Oh, here we go. Definitely not lands, Todd Tech. All right, we're gonna give this the hot mulligan, even though we have a redraw. Okay. So we have a dismember. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom, I think. This hand is pretty sweet. All right, playing against the scary AF flooded Flooded strand strategy. Alright, so I'm gonna ponder. I could I could just hold up, but I'm not doing anything. Okay. So if I draw a street rate. Street Wraith into Days. Next turn, draw Death Shadow, and I can brainstorm and have three more looks at a land. Or I can shuffle and get four looks at a land, but I get to deal myself two more points of damage. And this second Days might be good at some point. Yeah, I need a land, but, like, shuffling here only gives me, like, I get no new looks before my next draw step. Right? One. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta shuffle this. Because I get one, two versus one, two, five versus one versus three. Yeah, we gotta get rid of this. All right, we hit a land. One of those where you just gotta like be an adult. Oh wow, we're playing a mirror here. But you use question. That's what you said. Okay. Okay. Um. Glad we didn't get. Glad we got rid of that snuff out. Huh. I'm just gonna let this go. Just gonna pass.
I'm gonna brainstorm end of turn, I think. It's not common for the Shadow decks to play Spell Pierce. Okay, untap. Watery Grave. That's not bad. Get this in play so that my Stubborn Denial... Oh, let me fetch here. Get this in play so the Stubborn Denial's online for when I go to play Death Shadow. Because if I go Death Shadow first and then play Gurmag Angler, I don't have a hard counter spell. Alright, I'm not going to fight over this because I'm just going to get dazed. For that reason, maybe I shouldn't have... Do I want to fight over this? Probably not. I would like rather keep my shadow in play. No, so that makes it so my that turns off my stub, so that probably was loose. Okay. Keep control of the swamp. Destroy target non black creature. Okay, let's play this first. Oh, that grows his shadow. No. Okay, well, we've got two days. That grows his shadow. I didn't think about that. All right, well, I mean, here we go. Like, I'm gonna block. And then. They shock. I dismember. It's like, what do you got? Got him. Oh, I love Dismember and Death Shadow so much. The fact that it's just like the most insane combat trick of all time is just the nut. And then now my opponent's dead as a doorknob. That's the nail. We mulligan, but we were on the draw and they drew one more land. Though we did mess up with our Force of Will. Like we messed up not, but like they would have been able to Dismember anyways. Okay, so you have a cyborg guide for this. Death Shadow versus Delver, Delver, Delver. DNT versus Delver. Stoneblade. Oh, I don't see it on here. Yeah, I don't actually see it on here. Stoneblade, Grixis Control, Miracles. Yeah, you don't have it, right? Yeah, snuff out, not good. No bueno. I gotta imagine the triumphs are good. Um, Triumph in, triumph him out, snuff out, okay.
Well, Denial is probably decent if you can get a threat into play. Though, like, Liliana the Last Hope might be okay. Like, I don't know if we need... Like, my gut it thinks to, like, cut these. Bring in the Last Hopes. We could try to like settle in here a little bit. Though I'm actually what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do this. On the draw on the play, I'm gonna cut a force for a him. And then on the draw, on the play, I'm gonna cut a force for a him. On the draw, I wanna have them all. <clears throat> no, you don't take that dazes out in these, right? Like, I, I don't even cut days in the Delver Mirror. Okay, this, this hand's pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to play... Oh, I think I messed up. I should have just waited. Nah. I kind of just want to wasteland. No, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to dismember this thing right now. Because if he dazes, I can daze back and then my land doesn't get wastelanded. And we have an edict for a larger creature later. Because like now he dazes. Maybe. Okay, let's go. So now we open ourselves up being wastelanded. Yep, you got it. <clears throat> yeah, days days is just the stone cold nutter butters. Reanimate that for sure. So now I'm going to play Delver. I get so whacked by a wasteland here, by a wasteland from my opponent. No wasteland. No Delver flip, no wasteland. Delver flip to ponder. Maybe I'm not supposed to to wasteland. Honestly, there are a lot of legacy, but never play the mirror because I don't know. It's it's much different. I, I can say Delver Mirrors. Delver Mirrors, I never cut days, but that's because True Name Nemesis is a part of the equation. Definitely in a little bit of trouble here. Alright, Thought Seize Flips. I'm going to brainstorm because I can pick up my land with, I can make a land drop with this daze regardless of what my opponent does here. Like even if they counter this. Yeah, so like I'm just going to daze this daze. It cracks my opponent's, um, it's gonna make my opponent crack their delta or whatever. It, it's just basically going to make it so I make another land drop. Yeah, so they pay. No, and this is just to, now I can Thought Seize. Yep, Thought Seize Death Shadows. Now my opponent's in a lot of trouble. So now we just sit on this. Because my opponent's just got a Force of Will and two lands. So now we just trade and we look for our own, um, we look for just lands or more threats. Basically just lands at this point. Oh, our opponent hit a dismember. That's vomit inducing. Now it's lander bust.
All right, I'm just gonna do this right now. So my opponent's literally just, just has Scalding Tarn, Force of Will, and that's it. That sucks. Do I want to wasteland them? Two v two is the same. My opponent gets the first crack with a bunch of cantrips. So I think I'm actually gonna wasteland my opponent. Because if they have fetch land down to two, this puts them to one. So yeah, I'm just gonna wasteland them. It prevents cantrip trains. I feel stupid if I draw Liliana, but they also have Liliana. Okay. Okay, hang on. All right. So my opponent drew fairly poorly this game I probably just bricked on lands for I don't know most of the game they should have got a tap land there <laughs> cycle street wraith all right so it goes lol all right 2-0 in the league woo woo Woot, woot. We're doing it. I should actually pull this off. Show the core. I should do this from my first one so I don't forget. So I can get this going tonight. Rename. Live TV. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. You don't stop. I don't know what UW means. I don't know what that means. Who are the shadow, not the Delver? I guess I'd have to look back in there, Gavin. Um, so everyone that's watching this, I appreciate you watching this. I'm part of the Card Horror Network. My name is Dylan Hubby. This deck is a donation deck list. It is from the, for, uh, for helping my friends from, um, gosh, how do I say this? It's helping out my friends from where I used to play Magic that are part of the Canadian National Wrestling Team. You can donate $10 and I will play your deck on stream. So far, I have this one set up. I have one more after that and then I've got another one. So, so uh, yeah, we're looking to just play, play Magic and donate to a great cause to help two of my friends realize their dream and just be, you know, professional wrestlers. I guess like professional wrestlers for their country, not like... You know, not actual professional wrestlers. This hand's great. This is a modern hand. Besides this, this is a modern hand. I've drawn, I've drawn this hand minus this in my in modern before. That's one of the things that I found interesting about like the New Horizons, like Modern Horizons. I was like, it does not take much for, um, for the modern Shadow Deck to look just like the Legacy Shadow Deck. All right, so we're going to start off with this. And then we're going to hit him with a Thought Seize. I don't want to just, like, reanimate this and go for it. Because if my opponent, if I, like, reanimate this, and my opponent's, like, a Swords to Plowshares deck, then that sucks. All right. We're going to get turn one here, opponent. Gross. Gross. So you're telling me you have a force of will on top of your deck.
Forts of Valor land or a daze. Force of Will land or days, probably. I think I have to take this Vendillion click. Because, like, we, we got to figure out how to deal with the Pyromancer. The click's going to kill us. I just got an email notification. Tyler Cook, thank you very much for the donation. There, send me your message about what you want me to play, Tyler. And that is exactly what we will do. Ponder. So that's what they kept on top. Okay. So we're going to preordain. We might just brainstorm because it's the most looked at lands. Which is kind of what we're in need of. Yeah, we're going to brainstorm. Okay. Cards we do not want. We don't want this. And I don't think I want this. My fetch shot go to 11. And my shadow dies to lightning bolt. What happens if I get rid of this? And get rid of this. And then fetch underground C. Reanimate. Puts me to 8. And they still have pyromancer. Oh, I could reanimate the click and take their Pyromancer. It's like he plays this deck. Do I need both shadows? I'm going to keep both shadows. And I think I just go get an underground C. This is neat. Tyler, you should send me the um, the deck list you want played, and I will play that on Sunday. So let me add in here. Melman. Okay. Tyler Cook. They're kind of spewing a brainstorm here, but whatever. Elves? Okay. You gotta send me, you gotta Facebook me a list or give me like my, whatever it is, my, uh, my, um, discretion, I guess. Just say, okay, you can check this, do you can just do this, you know? So what are we at? We are already up to $46, almost halfway through our goal. Okay, Snapcaster Mage is annoying. So they put the Pyromancer on top. They can go Pyromancer Chain Lightning. And then I probably force the Pyromancer. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this Snapcaster Mage. Cause like, they're probably gonna Chain Lightning the Click. And then I force the Pyromancer and then both my shadows are outside of the Lightning Bolt. Spell Snare is not great. And if this is like a true name, it says I just force it. And now this makes it so that the chain lightning, unless they drew, if they drew a counter spell here, I'm going to feel a little shitty. Or if they have like another bolt, which another bolt's reasonable. Maybe I was supposed to do that. That probably would have been good. <clears throat> I 
I didn't want him to make a token, like bolt my thing, make a token, which is what I was kind of worried about. Okay, so this is four, eight, eleven. Okay, so waste the red source. Go to combat. If he doesn't bolt me, then I just fetch shot. Kill him. If he bolts the click, then I think I just... Okay, so now it doesn't matter. Well, hang on. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to hold priority here, crack my fetch land, and before, because, like, if he counters my fetch land, if the last card's force, then I only want to take, I don't want to take as much damage. What I want to do, target ability, this deck, targeting themselves. Okay, so again, I'm just going to crack here, hold priority. I don't know how much damage I want to take, because I want this to resolve. Whether this resolves or not, is going to inform how much damage I want to take because they have these two here. Okay, so now I can just take the full damage and attack and kill them. Well, if they had force, if they had force of will, so if my opponent has force of will, I don't want to go fetch shock to try to kill them because then they can go like bolt, bolt, kill, they can go untap, bolt, bolt, kill me if I shock. By waiting with the fetch land, I get to see what my opponent does here and if the Vendillion clicks a blocker or not. It's like marginal. It might be like too fancy, but it just it just gave me the most amount of information about how large I wanted my Death Shadow to be. Because like if they have Force of Will and I go fetch shock, I'm dead. But if I just go to eight and... They have force of will. I'm still dead. Well, no, I'm not dead because they only have one red source. So against blue red Delver, I want marsh casualties. Well, no, I, it's not like it's not like I'm not trying to win, right? I hold priority of my fetch land, and then if it resolves, I can then go get. If it dies, I can then go get a shock land, deal damage myself, kill my opponent. If it doesn't resolve, then I just get a tap land, attack, and then I don't die on the crackback unless they rip a red source. Right? Okay, so I want Marsh Casualty. No, you have a cyborg guide here for Blue Red Delver. Okay, Blue Red Delver out for Street Race. You cut your thought seasons as well. Okay, so against blue, red, delver. Okay, one Marsh Casualties, one Liliana the Last Hope, two him to Torok, one Liliana's Triumph. One Dank Blast. And that's... You have eight coming out. I got all the Thought Seasons because you play on the board. Give your rights out maybe if you're worried about the Pyro. Here's Liliana. All the purple and red cards. spot player draw oh you've had some day I'm a little confused I'm just a little confused with how this works I'm gonna bring in one more I'm, I'll, I'll get to it in a second I'm gonna bring in one more of these and I'm gonna cut a and I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave a thought season because thoughts on the draw can catch you up 
I'm a little confused about exactly how all this works. But having that many three having two three drops against blue red might be tough. <clears throat> Alright, we have Dank Blast, which is nice. So now we just have to worry about tuning Nemesis, but like this hand is nice. And our opponent mulligans, and we're on the draw. Dude, if I get to Dark Blast a Delver here, holy shit, am I gonna have a mild sexual experience? I'm just gonna run my Delver out there. We're gonna get on the board. This is Mr. Tim Schultz lands deck here. I think this is a very like controly hand. So I think I'm actually just gonna go get Underground C. Like, I don't think there's any reason to go super ham. It's in the grid. It's in the highlight of everyone's red. Red, red, red. So what do you want? I'm going to stand play draw. Or purple. It's purple. It's really simple. Got two rolls. Smash cards. Okay. okay. This is a lot to take in while you're trying to, like, sideboard on the fly. You know what I mean? But I should be fine. Look at that, we're... No, it's okay. You I mean, like, you know how your system works, you know? So I'm, I'm a little worried about a true name nemesis here. The second reanimate is a little medium. Honestly, now I'm gonna con I'm gonna convert a stub. If my opponent goes like fetch bolt, the old TNN is a bit of a problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna cash this stub in for anything at this point. Oh man, we can like reanimate something off of dank blast holy shnikes dank blast is one of my favorite cards what do we got here pyromancer you got it oh, that's gonna be my pyromancer This has to be the most deflating feeling of all time right here. I'm just going to go on record to say that it doesn't, it doesn't actually get any better than this. Bluster Storm. Okay. I'm just going to reanimate it again. So here's the question. Do I want to snuff out it? I guess I can just snuff it out on my turn if I want to be about that life. So I'm going to dredge because it's going to set up angler. I kind of want to now snuff out it. One, two, three, four. I can actually go snuff out, reanimate angler. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That's nice. YOLO. YOLO. Uh, 
Uh, I can get dazed here. Whatever. This is too sweet. I could also like make a token. Whatever, this is like too sweet of a turn. All right, nice. All right, both teams tried hard. I mean, that was sweet. I mean, that's just like a free, like snuff out's a free spell. Free spells are sweet. Like anything that's free is just not good. We get to reanimate that again. And I'm gonna do that. We're going to turn them both sideways. Still just going to reanimate the... I guess I could just hold up negate. The problem is, like, my opponent's best draw is true name nemesis. So depending on what they do here, I might just hold up stubborn denial. Like, yeah, and we're only at... We're only putting them to eight, which isn't, like, quite enough of a clock here. If they play true name, they can answer this. So I'm actually just going to reanimate this again. Yeah, Snuff Out's probably good now. Alright, will he win with no lands? Find out on the next episode of The Beating of Legacy. Do, 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 Alright. Attack. Even if they have a Vendillion click, they're basically priced into getting rid of the Gurmag Angler. Or blocking the Angler. Which still means that we have two things on board and they're going to three snapcaster mage on lightning bolt would be not the end of the world they probably just chump and then bolt the pyromancer yeah. you got it opponent we do have no lands You're gonna block Angler, right? Are you gonna are you gonna kill Pyromancer or are you gonna kill Angler? You kinda have to kill Pyromancer because it, then that gives you the out to draw True Name Nemesis. And if True Name Nemesis chump the Angler, but now you're just dead to the Delver. In the air. You don't have an answer to this yet. I think my opponent had to go, like, I think the actual best play for my opponent was to go chump, bolt. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game. My opponent has lands, and I don't. I think you want a basic land or two in here somewhere, right? No way, Jose. That force of will would have been nice a turn a turn earlier. All right, come on, give me land. Yeah, there we go. All right, you got one turn, man. Though if he draws true name nemesis, holy shnikes, am I in trouble? Why can't I play my land? Oh, Moto's motoing.
All right, looks like we're back. Looks like we should be back now. We were on the travel down here for a second. Wasteland. Opponent sends a message. Destroys my land. I get it. I will turn my Death Shadow sideways. Crack you for a lot of damage. Looks like we're back here. Moto was just having a hard time. This is one of the struggles of streaming on a laptop. All right, we're 3-0. Haven't lost a game yet. We're doing it. We're doing it, chat. While that's loading, let me upload this Tim Schultz lands. <coughs> We're definitely gonna call it definitely not lands. Let's see what this pile of sweetness looks like. Sylvan Library is one of my favorite cards ever. Three gambles, what a coward. I guess Tim Schultz is just not a gab not a gambling man. One horizon canopy looking for that looking for that value. I really like playing I have a lot of fun whenever I play this deck. I'm not very good at it, but holy shnikes do I have fun doing it. Alright, let's go back to this. Come on, Magic Online. There we go. Alright, I would like to play first. I would like to mulligan. Yep, playing some Shadow. All right, I would like to keep whatever. I'll put this on top. And I think I'm trying to get a watery grave. There's so many matches where my life total just doesn't matter, I think, in Legacy. Tim, I'm just I'm just playing. I think you're I think you're a coward. Lights on missionary in the next league. Not tonight, but I will play. Like I said, I mean, I've got whatever. I've got three deck lists that I have to do on Wednesday, on Sunday. Or maybe tomorrow night I'll play some. Days entered the revealed card zone. I'm revealing a day's gas. All right, get in there, little, get in there Will Delver. Go, Will Delver, boy. Will Delver. Well, okay, you're not offended? Well, I guess I did it wrong. I, I meant to offend you, Tim. All right. Snuff out kills a big, ugly Eldrazi. Play, play a Will Delver. Um, I'm not a huge fan. I, I have been more impressed with it tonight than I normally am. But I, I'm doing, I'm starting to do some donations for a, I'm going to get an underground C. I don't think we're going to need to like, we can pick this up. Um, I'm starting to do donations for a friend's charity. So that's what we're doing here. Your deck's going to be on Sunday. There, Dean. I have to wake up at 4.30 tomorrow morning. So I am not... I'm not about that life. Okay, nice. So let's... So we're just going to kill this cloud post. 
My opponent can tap this ancient tomb until the cows come home. I am sorry, Dean. I am sorry. I might play tomorrow. I've got um I've got a Splinter Twin deck to play. I have lands and elves set up. I'm gonna need Tim Schultz to to Skype with me in order to handle lands super super correctly. Alright, yes. I would like to reveal that magic card. And do I just reanimate my Street Wraith? They've got two, four. I don't, I don't even think I'm going to reanimate my Street Wraith. Because they could, like, always dust me. And then I can get it back. So I'm just going to play this land tapped. I don't think there's really any need to get two aggro here. Well, the lands is too fast. There's too much going on too quickly to have that conversation, I think. Oh, I guess they can. No, they don't even do anything here. To have that conversation unless you're like discording or skyping with them and i think i'm going to try to figure that out with tim so i might wait till sunday i have not you probably have one for this right eldrazi ant tess reanimator lands drinking show eldrazi preordain get out of my face Fatal push, get out of my face. Stubborn denial, get out of my face. Force of will, that's that's in the maybe category. No, that's on the draw, right? Play versus draw. Okay, we're gonna proliferate them, Chalice the Voids. Liliana's Triumph one. And then him to Torok two. Okay, so, oh, I can respect getting rid of this daze. Yeah, that makes sense. Peter. Yeah, that makes sense. Down for a celebrity call. Down for a celeb shot. Peter. Absolute heater. Wow, you didn't even like test me on turn one, sir. All right, I don't don't want to fetch because I want my cantrips to be better before I do this. God, I'm so good at this game. All right, I'm gonna flip a blue card like a professional here. No. Sad. That's a nice draw. So now I'm just gonna waste the cloud post and play a death shadow. Wish you played so well. I think you have Delver is is okay. The problem is the problem with the Delver decks is that like the two color Delver decks don't necessarily have the power level to compete. And the see the, the blue red Delver decks don't have the have just weaker spells like and it, it's that that kind of sucks. Um, I'm trying to think of I'm trying to figure out how to phrase my words here. I don't like the two color Delver decks because I don't think they're powerful enough outside of when the lands matter. Ooh, that's cute. Um, hang on, let me un I'm gonna untap before I do anything. All right, yes. So there's my blue card. So hang on. Can I do math? Deal four to myself. I go to one. I think my opponent's dead. I haven't like really done it out, but I'm pretty sure they're dead. 13. Not quite dead. Not quite dead. Shouldn't have fetched. No. Not quite dead. Yeah, you can't force, so that's why 
I was like, no, we can't go down. We can't shock. Yeah, I dislike I just dislike all the Delver decks at the moment because I think that the ones that are worried about the mana bases aren't strong enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna force this because if they have Reality Smasher, they just take my Force of Will. This beats like Dismember. Yeah, Reality Smasher. Yeah. <sighs> I probably there's probably a way I could have beat that set up there from our opponent. Which is slightly annoying. Like if I if I'd have been like on the game on my game one hundred percent, I think I would have won that game. So I'd have been like, okay, I only have to deal myself this amount of this and much damage, so I can be a little lower and kill them over two turns. Why didn't we daze the chalice for two? Why didn't we daze daze the chalice for two? I don't know. I don't remember them playing. I don't remember. I really don't remember them playing a chalice for two. That's one of those. If we hadn't been, if we hadn't been fast and loose, I think I would have won that game. But we're playing. A, we're playing a little. It was a little fast and loose. Can't keep this. I don't have a threat. I have two removal spells, a daze. I have two redraws. Whatever, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna I'm gonna punk him with this. All right, let's cycle first. This might be maybe I'm, I probably should mulligan this, but like I kind of just want to get him. Damn it. Maybe then I, then I probably just wasn't paying attention. Oh, I could have reanimated my Street Wraith. You're right. You're right. Now I want to reanimate Street Wraith. Well, hang on. Is that too small ball? That's like a Delver. I would totally take a Delver. Yeah, I punted. I, I like zoned out. Yeah, whatever. We're going to do it. And then I'm going to waste this. <clears throat> and reanimate their big thing. Damn it. Damn it. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place right now. It's too late every time. We're fast. It's, it's a little fast and loose at the moment. Still just gonna wasteland this thing, I think. Fast and loose. Let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. That's all right. We're gonna win. We're gonna win because we're we're professionals. My wife is always proud of me, Micah. Jesus. All right, I'm gonna take this grim monolith. Oh shit, I could've just dazed that. Cause this doesn't make two mana for that, that was stupid. I mean, I'm gonna be able to daze whatever they do. That was a mistake because I, I thought I thought that this made like I could have just like I get to daze this anyways, but Eldrazi Temple Matter Shaper. I thought that it made it made it so I couldn't counter the Grim Monolith. <coughs> All right, things could get a little dangerous here. I probably wanted to play an untapped land there to be able to. Uh, can to be able to like proliferate yes we definitely could have like mistakes mistakes were made here 
And I'm probably going to lose because we don't have a smasher. Um, I'm going to go fetch. I need to draw a Death Shadow, like... Pronto. Ask and you shall receive. So let me think. Snuff out this attack. Play shadow. The problem is if I snuff this thing out, I'm just gonna die because they shoot me. And I go to one, they play another one. So I think I have to play, I have to just attack and then play a death shadow. Just hold it till you attack with shadow. What do you mean? I of Eugene. Come on, Eugene. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. But I think there's likely a reality smasher coming here. Smasher is good. Can't fetch. I can't cycle because then I can't snuff out and I have to attack with my death shadow. I should have brainstormed before I attack. That was stupid. This still doesn't work. This doesn't even work because for me to do 12, I have to go snuff out, fetch, and then they kill me. Damn it. Oh, I'm playing. I'm playing so bad. Yeah, I can't even attack. No, that's not. The problem is there's another walking blister in the hand. And I can only deal my opponent 11 damage. I can't deal them 12. So attacking doesn't do anything. Because I guess I can chump block the reality smasher, take one... Even if they put a counter on this, it, I go, I, I'm okay. So I should just attack. Yeah, so I'm going to attack. That's like okay for the home team. Jesus. <laughs> Dude, that's just so disrespectful. All 
All right. Whatever. Dirty dangles. <laughs> My opponent's probably just falling over in their seat. They're just like, what happened? Dirty fucking dangles, boys. Get this man a puppers. After putting 18 power on the board. No, they they can't. Because this doesn't do anything. This only this taps for one, one, four. So if they even if they get another glimmer post, doesn't do anything. So yeah, I'll just make them sacrifice a creature, and then they're then they're dead AF. Because Cloud Post only makes two mana. So, like, theoretically, they could just triple chump my board and still live. That might have been the best brainstorm of my life. Warping Whale, sure. All right. You sack a creature. I drew a Gurmag Angler just in case we needed some more help. 12 you. That is Xaxes, in case my opponent was wondering. Yeah, that was a good brainstorm too. All right, sometimes brainstorm is just a really good card. Dirty fucking dangles, boys. All right, here we go for the five zero. For the five zero, baby. Zero arc light storm. Oh my god. Um, there was an elves player that just stopped playing. Because I am bad. Because I am bad. <laughs> yeah, if I go 5 0 versus the 4 1, it's gotta be. Like, that's just math. I lean to Lula, yay, come on. All right, here's the last match of the night. I can't believe we won that. There's no justice, the fact that we won that match. After I just, like, just bent over and just shoved my own head in my ass and just still won that one. Um, I love how my foil preordains are 200 bucks. Money, money, money. Yes, that is a lot of money. It is good against the beneficiaries, I would say. I, I also just think, like, even if we do well against this deck, I think it's just, like, pretty poorly positioned right now because I think that two of the best decks in the format are, are the Stoneblade and Miracles. Buy Stoneblade for me. I don't even know how much Stoneblade costs. Like, what? what is, like, a Stone... Like, what does Stoneblade even cost in paper? Because, like, that's, like, a real... That's, like, a... Like, if I was going to play Legacy, like, that's, like, one of those that you could just kind of, like, feel decent about. Let me look at this. Yeah, it's twenty five hundred dollars. My wife would just kind of divorce me, like just a little bit. Nothing like too serious. Grix control fifty two hundred. That's a serious divorce. I played UR Delver versus Steve and felt unwell. 
push this off on the level. Marry me and we can have a sweet marrying team. Let's take a lot of shower. Through the humans days. Uh, yes, I would like to play first. We even won the die roll. Here. This is probably the old turn one reanimate, ain't it? All right, we hit a force of will. All right. Oh shit. We didn't think about that one. Oh, we're playing against death and taxes. Uh, we're not gonna have time for this preordain. And days might hit something. We draw land. No, we're in the, we're in the struggle bus here. Uh oh. Rut row. We need a land like this turn. Didn't hit a land. We can get a land next turn and still win. Because we can push the batter skull. Yo, nice ports, dude. All right, we're dead. We're dead AF, boys. Honestly, we put in, we gave it like a really good shot. You know, like we, they can even bounce and replay the batter skull now. So like, just in case we thought we had a chance, yeah, we're good. We're good. Both teams, both teams tried hard. Yeah, it's basically like I had like a nut draw that beat a lot of things except Wasteland, and then my opponent was like Wasteland, and then I had like both of us basically did nothing until my opponent killed me. So like they finally figured it out. What do we got here? D and T. One Wraith out. Two Reanimate out. Reanimation. All right. Uh, reanimate. Reanimate. DNT. Force of Will. That's a four ball. Okay. Reanimate. Stubborn Nile. That's another four ball. TNT comes down through here. One Dank Blast. Dude, I love Dank Blast. Oh, shoot. Wow, we have two Dreaded Knights and a Dank Blast. This guy better fucking watch, his, watch, watch out. Dreaded Knights. Uh, Edict comes in. The Hymns. Probably the Casualties come in as well. And what do you bring in? One Liliana. One, one hope. All right. Try not using around creatures that Dread Knight hits. Yeah. Because both of you just do nothing, right? You both just cancel each other out. Nice. Holy shit. I have a freaking... I have Dread Knight and Dank Blast. Maybe I missed it there. Didn't it say? I don't know. I must have made. I must have like forgot to take a card out. Op can't win. I didn't think Op was gonna win the last game, and then they did. Extend the hand. Wasteland, it's rude. All right, well, I'm just gonna play a Death Shadow. And 
if I get plowed, I get plowed. Um, Street Wraith. It would have not gotten a lot. You're right. You're right. I should have waited for like a preordain in case I went top top or a ponder. What do I want? I want like a thought seize. We on last hope, not bad at all. I think I'm just gonna go fetch shock ponder. Because like the card I'm afraid of next turn is Stoneforge Mystic. And I have Stoneforge Mystic covered with Dread of Night plus Dark Blast. So I would like to just find more threats. And that I did. And I won't run out two shadows at the same time. I'll play like a Delver next turn. There is no basic swamp. I do not want to use Path to Exile's ability. All right, now I'm just going to play two dudes. I think playing two dudes is better than playing Liliana. I guess Liliana, like, puts the squeeze on his, um, whatever it is, the, um, Council's Judgment. And then if he, like, wastelands me, then I can't play Liliana. Yeah. Because now that my opponent's got, like, two permanents, two things that need a Council's Judgment that'll win the game... Yeah, it took, took me a, it took me a hot second. This is a Stoneforge Mystic. Re Revoker. Good thing we can get Dank with that. We get that Dank Blast. Dude, my opponent's gonna roll over, like, in their grave. Oh my god. Wow. This is a really effective turn here. I kind of want to waste both of my opponent's lands. I actually kind of want to waste, get rid of this Caracas, and then get rid of this thing. My opponent can port me, whatever. Like, I guess I don't even have to worry about this thing yet. Blast and never over to free up Lily. All right, opponent scoops it up. All right, we had him. Okay, so this other Liliana, she said this should, said it should come in. I have cut another card. These days it seem worse in the draw, right? Like, wouldn't I rather want Force of Will on the draw? But then I don't have that many blue cards, which is my problem. I probably cut one of these. Yeah, I don't have enough blue cards to play with Force of Will. Sort by color. Yeah, I only have 15. Yeah, Force force is good. But, like, you know, I, I just don't have a lot of blue cards. To, I can't, like, reliably pitch to it. You know what I mean? I think this is what we're going to do, though. God, I drew my one of Liliana after drawing my two of card that's like my other one of card that's nuts. All right, yeah, we keep this. We can, like, we can wreck a mom. Seems a little soft to Wasteland, but like such is life.
All right, so I really want a him to Torak next turn. But I also want to ponder to find a land. Especially if my opponent plays Thalia, then I can't him and I can't, like, I waste my whole turn. So, actually, I can daze the Thalia. I'm going to ponder, but I think I think I messed up. I think I should have just played a fetch land. Now I don't really want any of these cards. But ponder has got to be worth it. So let's go like this, because Thought Seize is... We're not going to need three ponders and brainstorm. Uh, give me one second. My wife just got home. Be right back. Okay. I want my last match. Last game of the stream, so. If you're if you're busy, then I can take him out in, uh, in a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna daze this because it's just so annoying if this stays in play. And I'm going to Thought Seize this turn. I don't know if I want... I don't think I want to draw Ponder next turn because my hand just gets too glutted up with cantrips. My dog's going nuts over there now that my wife's home. I really just want to take this... It feels so cowardly of me to take this Palace Jailer, but this Jailer is just going to kill me if this game goes long. Like, if we watch the league earlier, Jailer just, like, destroys so many fair matchups. So I'm just going to, like, that's just card, that card's just going to get me in trouble. <coughs> Alright, so my opponent played Caracas. We knew about that one. And then they're getting in here with the old... The old factory. Oh, I should have killed the factory. That was stupid. Because I, I could have done it right there. Right? I forgot that the factory is... Okay, so they're, they're, hand, they're hell bent. Oh, no, they have, we got rid of both the cards they knew about. What is this? No, it's a Stoneforge Mystic. All right, what are you going to get? All right, Batter Skull. All right, we're going to just get rid of that. And then we have to figure out how to deal with this factory. <laughs> it's trash bin. At least my opponent doesn't have a lot going on. All right, I'm going to Ponder. Because Ponder gives us the most looks at Death Shadow. None of those. That's a Wasteland, though, which does deal with it. And I'm going to kill it right now before this goes up to three and they can flicker with it. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind the Swords to Plowshares right now. All right, so we're going to brainstorm. We know one card underneath, but, like, it's still, geez, some crow. No, they don't. They don't have Flicker Wisp in hand. They ditched it. We, we got it with a hand, unless they drew it. Like we know their hand's Batter Skull X. All right, I would do. I would do. Things for a shuffle effect. I guess I shouldn't have. I, well, probably should have put the Street Wraith on the bottom. All right, so I get to look at two new cards here. And I think I'm in desperation where even though my brainstorm shit, I've still got to do it. Okay. So let's put back this. If my opponent plows me, I'm going to want a Thought Seize more than a Street Wraith. Let's get rid of this, 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 him. And we'll get rid of a brainstorm, then play a fetch land and pass. 
I don't know what's in my opponent's hand. Like, like why? I can't believe I'm not dead. All right, we're gonna get the day something. Nice. Give me the turn 14 days. Yeah, Days is always good against DNT because they just tap out all the time. We have to fetch because our top two cards suck. And then we'll just get this into play tap. I guess I actually shouldn't have done that because if I draw Days, I want to pick up Underground Sea. All right. So you're saying there's a chance. That's okay. That's all right. Now it turns our hand on. So we attack. And then Thought sees this. At least get the Batter Skull. All right. They drew, they drew three Caracases. That's wild. Yeah. Mama. All right, I'm going to attack and I'm going to wait in case my opponent has a play to do with this, did something else to do with this mom so that I can, uh, so that the casualties, because they're not going to block that turn. Yeah. Oh, God. They're tapping four mana. Please don't palace jailer me. Oh, Sanctum Prelit? Okay, that should wrap it up. My god. We're in 5 0. We're in 5 0. My wife came home to see the 5 0. My wife and Phil are going to be so proud of me now. Right, cast with Kicker. Dude, we're getting the we're getting the five zero, Lawrence. It's happening. Okay, so let's go back to the deck here. Like, the deck was better than I thought it was going to be. To to be to be blunt, like, I I basically thought that this deck was kind of unplayable. Um. There are, like, fundamental issues that I still have with the deck. I drew very well throughout this entire league. Like, I threw I threw match four and still got him. And, um, you know, that's just kind of how it, how it, uh, everything just kind of broke my way when I needed to. I was really impressed with Snuff Out. Like, the fact that the, the spell was just free was really nice. And I got to do some pretty insane turns there. But... That's going to be it for me tonight. Um, again, I really appreciate everybody that came tonight and donated. We're almost halfway to our goal for the Barrero Brothers. Um, the Barrero Brothers and their, what they're trying to, and our goal to raise for them. If you guys keep donating, I will keep playing the decks. So far in my queue, uh, I've got some blue red Kiki Jiki decks. I have lands and then I have elves. So I'll be back to play those decks either tomorrow night or Sunday. Uh, I really appreciate all of you guys for showing up. I really appreciate everybody for donating. Um, I hope everyone has a great rest of their night, and I will see you all next time.